This is the story of how some little field mice had their lives saved by the music we are about to hear. A beautiful waltz written by the famous composer Peter Ilyich Tchaikovsky. It happened a long time ago in a little village in a country far across the sea. The story is still told in the village of the day the flowers waltzed. Most people laugh at the story and say that it couldn't be true, for after all, everyone knows that flowers cannot waltz. But strangely enough, they did waltz one day, and many of the old folks of the village know that it's true, because they saw them with their very own eyes. It seems that many, many years ago, the baron who lived in the castle on the hill overlooking the village was very fond of music. It was his custom to invite the villagers to share with him the Sunday afternoon concerts provided by the baron's musicians. These concerts were a delight to the villagers who flocked around the bandstand in the castle gardens. The concert always included a waltz, and since it was the Baron's favorite, they always played one certain waltz that had no name. Each time it was played, away over in the corner of the garden, out of sight behind the flowers, a number of little field mice would come out of their holes and waltz around and around to the music. You see, these were waltzing mice, and whenever they heard a waltz, they would have to stop whatever they were doing and dance. But fortunately, they loved to dance, and they looked forward to each Sunday's concert as eagerly as the Baron. One day, while the mice were waltzing, a cat from the village happened to stroll into the garden. The cat couldn't believe his eyes. A flower garden filled with waltzing mice. He could hardly wait to tell all the other cats in the village of the wonderful sight he had seen. The next Sunday, all the cats from miles around were seated in the garden, anxiously waiting for the concert to begin and especially anxious for the Baron's favorite waltz, which would bring the waltzing mice out of their holes. From their holes, the little mice could see all the cats seated waiting for them. They knew that they were trapped. The minute the waltz began, they would have to waltz. And when they waltzed near the cats, their dancing days would be over. Cats patiently waited as the concert proceeded. They knew that sooner or later the waltz would be played, and for the first time the mice dreaded to hear the waltz begin. Suddenly, one little mouse had an idea. Why not, he said, dress ourselves up as flowers, and then we might waltz past the cats to safety. The other mice happily agreed, and so they all dashed out, grabbed some flowers, and darted back into their holes before the cats could see them. Quickly, they arranged the flowers on themselves. When they finished, they looked for all the world just like beautiful flowers. Finally, the orchestra started to play the waltz. And as the cats watched, from out of the mouse holes came not the mice, but waltzing flowers. Roses and tulips, violets and pansies, marigolds and daffodils, all waltzing around. Too stunned to move, the cats watched the strange sight. To the music of the waltz, flowers were actually waltzing. Flowers with little legs that danced. Down the hill they waltzed, turning and swirling, behind some trees, and then suddenly they disappeared. 
And do you know, to this day, the waltzing flowers were never seen again. And neither were the waltzing mice, the mice who danced to the waltz that was now called the Waltz of the Flowers. <laughs>